my champion awaits.
I don't know why my family forced me to join this dreadful dragon guard. It's not like there's any dragon. Friend, you look like you've been to oblivion and back. What matter of trial did you face? By my honor, that's good to hear. With Rakish and Slain and the mask in our possession, we're much closer to victory. And it's all because of your efforts. Here, take this. Another interesting item I found in the Sanctum's vaults. With his dragon priest defeated and his plans foiled, Lotvalan is more vulnerable than ever before. We can't let this opportunity pass us by. The time has come to put an end to this order of the new moon. On Sep scales, why would he challenge Lotvalan on his own? This is no time for anger. I may not agree with Nefalar's actions, but we need to defeat the cult. We must journey to Senchal and speak with General Rendus. I don't expect him to join us in our fight, but he may have reports concerning Nephalar and Latvulan's battle. No need to travel to Senshal, Dragon Guard. General Renlis. I owe all of you an apology. I thought I acted for the good of Senshal, but there is blood on my hands. If you'll have us, the shields of Senshal will fight alongside the Dragon Guard. We've always been on the same side. I'm glad you finally realized that. You can thank my daughter for all this. She can be quite persuasive when she wants to be. Just like her mother. The shields of Senshal are ready to aid you, Dragon God. Yes, those particular dragons aren't very subtle. There's been an abundance of sightings. The latest reports indicate they were heading north of Senshal, in the company of a great deal of cultists and several dragons. Not yet. I have a contingent of soldiers stationed at the West Century Tower, just northwest of Senshal. They can let you know the current location of your fighting dragons. I'll work with Captain Sai Sahan to formulate a plan of attack. We'll march north of Senshal as soon as we are able. To be honest, I've been mulling over this alliance since you first entered my office. But I was certain that if I left Senshal defenseless, it would fall to ruin, just like Cyrodiil. When I left Cyrodiil all those years ago, the unimaginable happened. My Emperor was killed, and Daedra attacked, and I wasn't there to defend my home. That knowledge changed me. I couldn't let something similar happen to Senshal. We face the darkness of fear to find the light of courage. That's something my wife often said, and something Aelia just recently reminded me. I can't let fear dictate my actions, and so I will join with you.
believe it. We actually fought a living, breathing dragon. It's not breathing anymore. Nathala was lucky we made it here so fast. He was surrounded by at least five other dragons, but they scattered after we took this one down. Zaji grounded it himself. I'd say I'm proud of him, but it was probably sheer luck. I'm not sure. He fights with the fury of a wounded sench, but that could simply be his way. Still, despite his confidence, not even Nephalar can stand against such numbers for long. Nafalar and his enemies flew out of sight, but the tower may offer a better vantage point. Zaji is up there now. Perhaps he saw where they went. Did you see the corpse walker? A dragon! Zaji! Not since he flew by. To be honest, things weren't looking good for our scaly friend. An entire rage of dragons chased after him. Zaji doesn't think Latvulan is interested in a fair fight. Zaji lost sight of them. They're fast and loud. This one can't help but wins every time they shout. Is that really just him? Wait! Looks like they're coming back around! Looks like they're headed straight to Doomstone Keep. Huh. What could they want with that old ruin? Sai Sahan will want to know about this. We'll report in while you go after Nafalar. Above the ruins. Oh, battle ends here, brother. Nephilar has fallen. We need to get into that keep. What are we going to do now? Without reinforcements, we have no way to take the keep. As long as the Dragon Guards still stand, there is always a way. Damn that Dragon's pride. If Nephilar had only broken off and regrouped with us, it seems we have no choice but to rescue the beast. Are you with me? General Renmes will lead a secondary team to keep the cultists occupied. That should give us time to search for Nephilar. By Leckie's blade, I just hope he's still alive. We'd be hard-pressed to take this keep without him. The cult is gathering around Latvalon, most likely to empower him using their Aeon Stones. Yet another advantage they have over our forces. This is it, my friend. Our chance to prove ourselves. To prove that the Dragon Guard still protects the people of this world. You scout ahead and find a way forward. I'll join you in a moment. Have 
Mondo Fear. Zaji, the Dragon Slayer, has arrived. We are never going to hear the end of this. Looks like Nephilim, down below. Let's see if we can find a way to get to him. Hold a moment. There's some kind of message written on that tablet. In a rather roundabout way, it seems like this tablet is telling us how to move forward. It seems there's more to Doomstone Keep than first meets the eye. The inscription says to create light with a divine mask, which I can only assume refers to the Mask of Alkosh. Did the pride of Alkosh occupy this keep? Yes, the Black Beast. One of the Dragon Guard's greatest foes. A dragon of mighty power. Which would indicate that this inscription was written by the Dragon Guard. What were they doing here? The Dragon Guard and the Pride of Alkosh. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We need to find Nephilar, first and foremost. According to this inscription, the mask can somehow be used to light fires. We should search for unlit torches or braziers. There. Let's see if the mask responds to that brazier. That must be the Black Beast facing off against the Dragon Guard. Looks like a Kashiti warrior is leading them. Perhaps she was a member of the Pride of Alkosh. That's Nathalar. Jadari is offering him the Mask of Alkosh, but he's refusing her. It seems to symbolize something, though I'm not sure what. I understand now. The Black Beast is Lutvalon. The Dragonborn sealed him away, though it cost Jadari her life. And 
Nathalar is nowhere to be seen. Jadari joined the Dragon Guard to take down a fearsome dragon. The Pride of Elkosh called him the Demon from the East, while the Dragon Guard named him the Black Beast. But his true name is Lotvalon. Precisely. She must have needed the Mask's power to defeat Lotvalon. Jadari and the Dragon Guard had another ally as well, Nathalar. He gave them his own horn to use against Lotvalon. But he also refused Jadari something. And then the final battle. Jadari fell, but the Dragon Guard was still able to trap Lotvalon. For centuries he was sealed away beneath this very keep. Until he escaped, that is. Which leads us to today's battle. What I'm interested in is how Jadari was able to use the Mask of Alkosh against Lotvalon. Though I suspect Nathalar may have some insight on that as well. We should continue our search. icy malice permeating this chamber. So this was his prison, was it? Ah, and now he has assured that it will be my grave. Yes, I gave her my horn, but it was not enough. And so she asked me to empower the mask of Alkash so that we could slay Lord Vulan and end his terror. Ah, I refused. Lord Vulan was sealed away, but not before Jadari fell in battle. It takes two wills to awaken the mask. One is a champion of the pride of Alkosh, a warrior who has proven themselves worthy of the Mask's power. The other must be one of my kind, a dragon. Fenjunti, the will of my father, the Dragon King of Time. All Dove seek dominion, and so it is a king's command that is our bane. I will not turn away from you as I did Jadari. I will not repeat the past. I will join with you and empower the Mask. You are a worthy ally, and a champion of my father's will. Only together can we hope to defeat Lot Vulan. Raise the Mask before me. It is time. beyond the dunes. Apologies never did suit you, Nafalar. You are here now. That is all that matters. A new champion walks in Jadari's stead. We can still make things right. Poor Rakajin. 
It was his destiny to walk these sands, you know. To join with the pride of Alkosh. But greed drenched his heart like a freezing rain, sapping all its warmth. And so, it fell on your shoulders to walk this path instead. Dragons, yes. And something far worse as well. Latvulam, the demon from the east. It was not enough to seal it away. You must succeed where Jagari failed. You must banish the demon unto eternity, as Alkash wills. Latvulan is the torment of chaos. A shadow wearing a scaly hide. It seeks to drench this world in anguish, as is its very nature. It will pave the way for another. A new moon filled with darkness. Then the death. Alkash watches we mortals with a weary eye. He will lend his power to one worthy, yes. But only if we are granted the aid of his blood. Only a dragon's power can awaken the mask. You seem willing. Can you say the same of Nafala? You must raise the mask of Alkosh before him. Do not think. Feel. Cast doubt from your heart, and ready yourself to accept Alkosh's divine will. You must succeed where Jadari failed, Mask. Go before him, Dragon Guard. It should only take a few words. Do you remember Nafalar? Words to mend the tapestry? Dragon King above. Ormahu Hanzu. This mortal is worthy. Wavokri Krentid. They shall mend your threads. The mask awakens. Go now. Harness the might of Alkosh to overcome the demon from the east. As it was always meant to be. Our strength is now one, Akatus. Let us finish this. We've reached the surface this way. Let's move out. Just use the AI. We must hurry. The time has come, Akatus. Cleave through your enemies with the might of Alkash. Lord Mulan, your death approaches.
Come, Lord Vulon. Our battle shall end here. I know not how these mortals revived, but they shall not do so again.
thinking about that? <laughs> no fear! Zaji has arrived! We'll handle this, Rappel. We'll cover you! me!
shall rise. Well fought, Dragon God. Lot Vulan is slain. Now I shall ensure that nothing we remains. We fought hard for this victory, Dragon God. To save the people of elsewhere, of all Tamriel, from Lot Vulan's tyranny. But our battle does not end here. Like those who came before, we'll fight the dragons that plague this land until the day that plague ends. And for all those who lost their lives today, I say this prayer. May your flames burn eternal. You should have seen the battle, Mother. Flames and ice, swords and arrows. It was spectacular. Mother, must say, slaying dragons is certainly a step up from stealing temple heirlooms. Uh, you'll never let that one go, will you? Zaji knew we could do it. There was never a doubt in his mind. After all, we are the Dragon God, right? The scourge of dragons far and wide. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> Zaji will admit there was one or two moments of doubt, but they passed by very quickly. He hardly noticed them at all. You know, Walker, uh, for, at the danger of sounding boorish, Zaji just wanted to thank you for all that you've done. When this one left Black Heights, it was to seek adventure and glory. And so he bought a fine vessel and assembled a gallant crew. However... However, adventure and glory is a bit hard to seek out. It's not often you come upon signposts asking for mighty heroes to save the kingdom. Well, maybe you do. Seems like you have that sort of luck. The point is that Sai Sahan was right to doubt Zachi and his crew. We were smugglers, not heroes. Ruffians trying to make enough gold to get by. And then you came along and asked us to take you here, to this island. And now the Moon Singers will tell stories of us for generations to come. So, thanks for giving Zaji a chance to become the hero he always knew he could be. And for letting us come along with you on this unbelievable adventure.
Excellent fighting out there, Dragon God. Of course, your work isn't done. There remain plenty of dragons for your order to slay. But I swear to you, from here on, that the shields of Senshal will aid you however we can. We'll continue to protect Senshal and its citizens, of course. Try our best to keep order. But I do have plans beyond that. One day, the shields of Senshal will protect all of Pelatine. No more hiding behind city walls. As much as I would like to keep my daughter by my side, I don't think that would be wise. She's grown so much during her time with the Dragon God. Her place is here. I couldn't be prouder of the woman she has become. Hello there, hero. Have time for a chat? We did it. Senshal is finally safe from Lapulon and the Order of the New Moon. There are other dragons to contend with, of course, but we'll defeat those too, won't we? Just like the Dragon Guard of Legend. I've actually been thinking a lot about that, our order. I honestly wonder if it will last. Maybe Zaji and Casca will get bored and seek out another adventure. Maybe another threat will call Saisahan away. A little. But mostly the thought makes me... sad. I've come to think of the Dragon Guard as a family of sorts. And I fear that if the Order disbanded, if there was no longer a reason to fight, I would lose that. I know, I know. There's no shortage of work. I'm just being silly as all. But then there's also this feeling that our battle isn't truly over. Which is an even scarier thought, isn't it? What is the new moon that the cult worshipped? How did Lapulon plan to rule over Tamriel? They're just questions that keep bouncing around in my head. It might be nothing, but I'm just not sure this is over yet. Not only did you defeat the demon from the east, you also turned the Dali's son into a respectable Khajiit. She is not sure which feat is more impressive. Greetings. Congratulations on the win, Mask Bearer. Just do not brag about it, yes? I get enough of that from Zaji. Not dead, which is better than I expected. It all worked out, though, didn't it? Aelia protected Zenchal, Zaji became a hero, Saisahan ended a grave threat to Tamriel, and you got to be the mighty hero at the center of it all. I'm a simple Senshrat walker. There was an enemy, and I killed it. What greater satisfaction is there? My only regret was not killing Lotvolan sooner. Many of my people died because of him and his cult. And all for their own protection. They were too afraid to fight the dragons that terrorized their land, and so they joined with forces that they did not understand. And many suffered because of that. I won't forget that. But there's still dragons in elsewhere. Cruel, terrible dragons who want nothing more than to kill and destroy and conquer. And I won't let them. As the moons are my witness, I will hunt them all down. Every last one!
Just the warrior I wanted to speak to. At long last, we defeated the Black Beast. Today we finished a battle the Dragon Guard began centuries ago. A fitting start to our own order, I must say. Brooding as usual, Nephilim may have pulled through as our ally, but he's still not one for socializing with mere mortals. He did say he wished to speak to you when you returned. If the subject comes up, let Nephilim know that he's welcome to recover in our sanctum. He's our ally, and the Dragon Guard takes care of its own. Far more confident of our Dragon Guard, I must admit. When we first formed our order, all I saw was a ragtag band of smugglers, ill-experienced and naive in the ways of battle. Ah, yes, young Aelia. How could I forget? But now I look around me and I see soldiers, tried and true. Warriors who are willing to lay down their lives to protect elsewhere. And if that's not in the spirit of the Dragon Guard, I don't know what is. Captain? Yes, I suppose I am, aren't I? It's been a long time since I last held that rank. I failed to uphold my duty then. I allowed my Emperor to die and watched as our empire fell into the clutches of Daedra. And now I have another chance to make things right. Not of the Empire, perhaps, but here in a land that has a great need for a Dragon Guard to watch over it. And I expect your help as well, my friend, as always. Excellent battle, Akatus. Your might helped seal Lot Vulan's fate. He shall never challenge me again. Indeed, and our foes seem to thwart us at every turn. Lot Vulan killed Yagrandu before he could join our alliance, and his corpse was turned against us. The cult destroyed Pride Home in their efforts to acquire the Mask of Alkash. Though it was no easy task to do so, the Halls of the High Main presents challenges that few dare to face. Yet you conquered them all, and proved worthy of Alkosh's divine power. A feat few mortals can claim. You have certainly proved yourself worthy of the Mask of Alkosh. Just do not expect it to ensure all your victories. Its power was only awakened through our connection. With my departure, it shall be but a mask. Not yet. We defeated Lot Vulan, but I sense another power lurking in elsewhere. Something dark that threatens to disrupt my father's order. When the time comes for you to face it, I shall aid you. I give you my word. And keep the mask. <laughs> It suits you. 